Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your dose of zombies news from the game and community here on COD Zombies HQ. Man, it's nice to talk to you guys again. It's been a while. So, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna talk about some changes coming to Black Ops 4 Zombies that was announced today, and then we'll have a little bit more informal discussion on the future of this channel and zombies as a whole as it relates to some startling news that was actually revealed today by Treyarch. If you want to skip ahead to a certain topic, I'll include timestamps for it as the pinned comment on this video. So let's kick things off with our first story of the day, and that being some gameplay changes headed to Black Ops 4 Zombies. If you guys didn't know, Treyarch held a live stream today where they announced in kind of like a rambling fashion some gameplay changes coming to Black Ops 4 Zombies very soon that I know know a lot of people that still play the game are very much looking forward to. The gameplay changes were summarized best by Real Blaystorm over on Reddit. So there's going to be some changes to the perk Winter's Whale and in terms of its recharge rate and when it actually triggers to buff that perk to actually making it usable. The Nosferatu spawn rates on Dead of the Night are going to be significantly reduced which, I mean if you like that map. It's a blessing because those things are freaking annoying. Same with the werewolf spawns on that map, also reduced. Something that players have been asking about for ever and that is to make the mystery box relevant again there should be like a hashtag for that on twitter <laughs> hashtag remaster die rise but some of the more common wall buys are being taken out of the mystery box to give you guys a better chance at acquiring the new and or improved weapons from the box itself along with that there's going to be changes to the probability rates within the mystery box itself making it so that you'll get less duplicates right so if you roll the box you get an essex you don't want the essex and you roll it again, you won't get the Essex again. It'll be another weapon, which is very, very good. And finally, they'll be changing some of the camo requirements within the game to bring them back down to reality. How about that? Okay, now on to topic number two, and this is going to be a big one. Kind of more casual, I'm not going to be presenting things as much as I'm going to be telling you how I feel about them. And I know I've been absent from this channel for a long enough time that I guess you guys deserve an explanation of why that is. So here we go. First things first, starting with the actual live stream itself. Now a lot of people in the community are noticing that within this live stream there was zero discussion about the factions feature that has been rumored to be coming to zombies since before the game launched. There was expectation that Treyarch announced that factions would be releasing with this operation, where as of now, that seems like it is not the case. They didn't mention anything about factions when talking about this operation. Now there's always a chance that there'll be some kind of dedicated zombies announcement regarding factions information, but I don't know about you guys, but I'm just straight up sick and tired about talking about factions coming sometime in the distant future. I, I honestly Honestly, just don't care anymore about it like seriously we've been talking about this freaking thing since before the game launched we still really don't know anything about it and I honestly don't care anymore so hey there's that but the big bombshell the big adieu that Craig Houston left us with was this at the very end of the live stream take a listen wraps things for zombies almost and yeah well, scene anything well, else uh, well I've just got to go and keep working on DLC 3 and 4 to conclude the Ether storyline, so I'm very busy with that, and that's all I'm going to say, John. No big it's deal. Exciting. No pressure. Yeah. If you heard that right, he's saying that DLC 3 and 4 will be the conclusion to the Ether storyline. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, well, HQ, we've, uh, we've uh, heard that before now, haven't we? And I agree with you, but I do think that after DLC 3 and 4 for Black Ops 4, we will not be seeing any more original content in the Ether storyline again. I think bets are on that there will be some kind of DLC Season 2 for Black Ops 4 Zombies, and it might feature some remastered maps from Black Ops 2, but I don't think it'll contain any new original maps. It'll just kind of be remasters plus new chaos maps. And that's where the discussion lies. If DLC 3 and 4 is the end of Ether, I hate to say it, but at least for me personally, that's kind of like the finale of Zombies, isn't it? I mean, the reason I haven't been posting for the last couple months, I mean, and it sucks to say, 
but the chaos storyline and its content and gameplay and maps just isn't for me personally. I know that there's a lot of you guys out there that really enjoy the chaos storyline, where it's going, the maps itself, and I couldn't be happier for you. But just for me personally, man, I've been playing this game since 2008. Maybe I'm just kind of stuck in my ways in terms of what I expect from a zombies map and what I like and theming and things like that. But honestly, it doesn't capture my interest at all. I haven't played Ancient Evil, I have no desire to, but if you did and do continue playing that map and you enjoy it, I'm not only happy for you, but I'm a little bit jealous that I wouldn't be able to enjoy it the same way you could. Like I said, maybe it's just zombies fatigue, maybe I've, I've kind of like entrenched myself in what I like and don't like and kind of just shun the things I don't like, but I have no desire to cover, talk about, or play Chaos Storyline Zombies. That's that, unfortunately, so if Ether is going to be concluding here in Black Ops 4 and we won't be seeing any new original Ether stuff again, hey man, I kind of see that as the finale of Zombies and the finale of this channel, and if that's the way it's got to be, so be it. I really enjoyed the two Ether maps we have in Black Ops 4 so far. I can't wait until this summer when we do get DLC 3 and 4 and Maybe for the last time, and for real, you can join me as we conclude the Ether storyline. Look, nobody more than me wants to bring back the daily dose of Zombies news, and here's hoping that for DLC 3, we can finally do that. I do kind of want to end this discussion with something I've noticed, seen, observed, and kind of how it relates to the future of Zombies. I'm not sure about you guys, but if you look at some of the biggest Zombies YouTubers, you look at what people are watching and making about Zombies content, there has been no maps besides Ether maps that have made it past around five days of content on YouTube. Meaning basically a new map releases, you'll see videos about that map for about five days, and then you'll pretty much see it drop off the face of the earth in terms of content being produced about it. I'm guilty of this too, every single Zombies YouTuber is guilty of this, I guarantee it. It didn't happen for the release of Black Ops 4 because there was just so much stuff, but it's happened for Dead of the Night, it happened for Ancient Evil, no matter how good the map is, it dies on YouTube within 5 days. People have always said, you know, Zombies is dead, and I have it in my mind that that will never be true until I see an Ether map drop, a new Ether map drop and nobody's talking about it five days later. Until that time comes, Zombies isn't dead, it's lying dormant, looking to rise up from its grave into relevancy once again. And with that, I leave you guys once again. I'm probably gonna fade back into obscurity before news starts coming out for DLC 3 in around a month's time, but I do want to hear your thoughts down in the comments. I'll read pretty much every single one down there. You can be sure of that. But I want to thank you so much for watching. Be sure to thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for that Zombies News when it does hit. And I'll see you with another Zombies News update sometime in the future. Peace out.